Hello and welcome back. In previous section, we have created Cordova application. So just we have written Cordova create hello. So we got a hello project created. So we will go into that folder cd hello and now we will see the folder structure ls command if you are using macbook or ubuntu and if you are into a windows laptop then you can write dir so you can see directory so here i will write ls so we can see we have config.xml package.json plugins www w hooks file platforms and res res so now we will go one by one and we will see why we are using that and what it all about so this is a code of project structure where hello will be the folder where code of project resides and then inside hello project we will see ww platform plugins hooks and all other things so the ww folder contains the project's web artifact such as html css and javascript file as a cordova application developer most of your code and assets will be here they will be copied into a cordova prepared to each platform's ww directory the ww source directory is reproduced within each platform subdirectories appearing for examples like uh, in platforms inside ios uh, ww folder or in uh, android platform folder uh, there will be an assets ww folder so we will check uh, about platforms folder when we will add the platform okay so another uh, directory we have is platform directory where contain all the source code and build script for the platform that you add to your projects even it's android or ios so related to that project it will come into that platform folder another folder is plugin folder where uh, any added plugins will be extracted and copied into this directory and when we add the new platform like android ios windows or any other platform they copy all the plugins from here and they copy it from here and they uh, again send to that respective platform uh, directory okay then next folder is hooks folder Hooks folder basically uh, re represents so a special uh, script which could be added by application and plugin developers or even by your own build system to customize Cordova commands. Any scripts you add to these directories will be executed before and after the commands corresponding to the directory name. Useful for integration your own build system or uh, sometimes integrated with version control system. So this is useful like that another folder we can see here res so resource folder basically this folder contains the icons and images for android ios and basically uh, we can note here that these image resources are not copied into a project when a project is created with the command line interface although these are default images resources in newly created cordova project those comes from the platform specific project template uh, which can generally be found uh, platforms template directory and uh, until icons and splash screens uh, icons support is added to the CLI those images resources are not used directly actually so next file we can see here config.xml which configure your application and allow you to customize the behavior of project so in uh, we will later we will see about the config.xml in uh, briefly so as of now we can say in config.xml file we uh, edit something like your package id your project name and uh, uh, your about your developers uh, information all those things you can edit other apart from this you can uh, identify your um, platforms which type of platform you have added what plugins you have added all those things will configure in the config.xml uh, so later on we will see uh, the structure of config file so last file is package.json basically as we can see from cordova 7 plus onward release the package.json is always be created to mirror the config.xml whenever you run cordova prepare uh, command so if it does not exist it will 
create it again uh, like if you delete the package or json and you run command code or prepare it will auto generate and they copied few things from config.xml so it will always preferences but only for the things defined in it like plugins platforms and for other config options from config.xml will still be used fine so uh, that's all so in the next chapter we will see how to add and remove pl plugins and uh, the platforms all those things and we will create our first Cordova application and we will run it thanks for watching